Thanks, Thanks for, for clicking, clicking on, on the video. video. Yes, so today we are going to be making conker soap. Conker soap. So these are what? Conkers. And they come from which tree? Horse chestnut. The horse chestnuts. They are not the nuts that come from the sweet chestnut tree. Because they are spiky. Well, they're spikier, aren't they? These are still yeah. spiky in the shell. But the sweet chestnuts are edible and they're the things that people roast at Christmas and they're, they're lovely on the fire. But these are conkers. That are poisonous. That are poisonous. Toxic. Toxic. So they're poisonous to humans and dogs. And dogs. Loads oh here. My so, the other things we're going to need, we're going to run through. Oops, the one that got away. So, we're going to quickly go through. So, we need some knives to chop it. We need a block to chop it on. The big lump of old elm is optional, but you can obviously use a chopping board if you're doing this in the kitchen. Scales to weigh it, some containers, some water, measuring, a lemon, but we'll talk about why the lemon and later. What else have we got? A mixer, a mixer so saucepan, sieve. A source of heat, so we're going to get the bush box, but obviously we're going to do the bush box outside. Um, so we need to, first things first, we need to get 400 grams of chopped conkers in there. So we'll get all these conkers out. Not all of them actually, just get a few out. Okay, I'll chop them in half in, and then you chop them that way. Turn it over. Put it in my hands. Daddy, put oh, yeah. it in my hands. That's easier. And one for each hand, and this is your hand, this is Daddy's hand. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that hand getting full now, Ada? Yes, well done. Sorry, that's... Right, shall we see how we're going? Yeah. Right, okay, Ada, tell us, where are we up to? Um, 400? Just over 400. Right, so we're done. Put any spare ones in there. Okay. Now dust off the mess. Yeah, chuck that on the floor. Oh, it's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the wood chest. <laughs> Go on then, take it off. Oh. Right, oh. pop those to one side. Because if we need to make another batch, we can do. So, can you pass that saucepan, Finn? Can I pass the Now, thing? Yes. Now, the reason why these are really good is yeah. these have a chemical in them. Yeah. Called saponin now if you think about when you use normal soap yeah. what happens you put it on your hands yeah you put a bit of water on there and you start to rub and what happens it bubbles. bubbles bubbles yeah it foams up doesn't it now saponin is a natural chemical that foams the other thing about horse chestnuts is that antibacterial so they help kill bacteria so they are all going to go into the mixing pot now the other thing we're going to put in is what? Lemon. And lemon. Lemon now. Lemon. You can both have a go at chopping this. Now the thing is with the lemon, yeah. lemon contains acid that's a natural preservative. So we can put it in with the soap and it will just help keep it fresher for longer. It's also antibacterial itself. Mm. Straight off the bat. So now you've got to keep this well. Now you're in quite a vulnerable position there because if you're nice slipped, so you've got to turn side on. No, 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 no. no. So turn side on so you're like facing this. thin. That's it. So you've got a saw. That's it. Are you dark? Keep it in the just, yeah, just, just keep it there. That's it. One slice in there. That's it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Brilliant. There we go. All right, so last bit now, Finn. So just take your time. One. I can put it in. Yeah, wait till the knife's out of the way. 
we've got the conkers, we've got the lemon. What's the last thing we need? Water. 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 And stop. 500. We need to do another. And stop. No, it isn't. We're going to cook it for about half an hour, okay? Oh. Okay, this is all loads of bits of wood we've got from our carving, carving. projects. Daddy, shall we put some more um, logs on? Well, yeah, yeah, gradually. We've got to gradually feed it with logs. It's half an hour gone by, so we're going to take that off the heat, so that's too hot to blend now because obviously it's boiling water, so we'll leave it to cool down for 15-20 minutes and then have a go at it, okay? Yep. So this is still too hot to blitz yet, okay, but what we can do is we can fish, fish out the lemon. <laughs> Slippery like an eel. That's it, quick, 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 quick. Get it across. Okay, so it's cooled off now. Yeah. Come to put our fingers in, but don't now lick your fingers because I said this is poisonous. Oh, this is quite warm. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's a cold autumn day. So I'm going to just give it one blast. I'm not sure how aggressive this thing is going to be. Wow, what happens immediately? What? Bubbles up. Foams up, that's the siphoning, isn't it? That's what it wants. So you've got to bring it up and then squash it down and do it. <laughs> right, one more. Right, things go. Yeah. I'm finished now, Ada, okay? Stop, 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 that's it. Look at all, look at all the bubbles. So that's what we want, isn't it? We need the sieve. I can get the sieve, got it. Oh, this, this stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And that's it. We're gonna get this. Oh, that's all gooey, so we need some liquid now. Looks like my kite, daddy. That's it, pour it in. So in there, we've got all the shells. Can you see them all? That's the waste product in there. So these are the two pots we got from the charity shop the other day. Yes. So you can you get that that lid off? I'm gonna put half and half because we might dilute it a little bit. Does dilute mean? Dilute means um, it looks like water it down basically. Right, can you tell me, Ada, which one needs more in? That. Okay. Bit that more. one needs a bit more. Put a little bit of water in. Oh, I saw a shell. So there are two different lids on these, aren't there? Mm -hmm. So we've got the storage one and the dispensing one. Bowl. Sleeves up. Wash your hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bit there. Go on, a bit for you, a bit for me. Oh, we had some water. Yeah. Wash your wash your wash your hands. Now, you know, this isn't really a proper test. What I want you to do in a second is go out and get some mud on your hands, okay? Which is quite easy for you to. Not ridiculous <laughs> amounts of mud, Finn. I don't want you to come yeah. in covered from head to toe. Stick your hands over the bucket. The urn bowl. Okay, we'll go get more than yeah, that. Go on then, come back and then we'll really test the soap, okay? Filthy. No, they're not. Filthy. Well, Finn's unsurprisingly the worst. It's nice and warm water, okay? So I've not filled it up from the outside tap. So, Ada first. So a little bit of soap. Oh my god. Let's so get it in there. Keep rubbing. Rub, 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 rub. Right. I don't think this might not work. I think it will. 
Because look, all you've got to do now, let the magic happen. <gasps> it does work! <laughs> magic! Wow, yeah. magic! Okay, Let's Finn. Oh, wow! Magic! Get the back to your hands. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, magic, now we sir. don't need to wash our hands because we washed them inside. Outside. Well, you do, yeah. But that's because we've used the magic soap. Conker soap! Yay! Yay! So, two containers of Conker soap, two pairs of very clean hands. So, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.